Good morning. I don't know if you can see me. I can't eat a banana on camera. Uh, just waiting for the truck needs to move so then I can get the rav out. I'm going to move some sheep this morning. Anything else? Oh, then we're feeding using lambs. I fed the lambs this morning. Got a couple of new lambs that need to be bottle fed until they work out the heat wave. And we've had rain. It's raining. Look at it. It's delightful. Slug is pleased. Slug is chilly. Last night there was a big rain sort of storm thing. It was very cold. It was very wet. So we're just going around checking all the sheep this morning, making sure everyone's fine. We moved everything that's shorn into paddocks that have a lot of shelter. We've got three or four mobs on crops. Here's our lovely crop with sheep on it. Our oh, well, ladies, at least your foot, at least your feet. Liam's crying internally. This is one of the other crops. I think this is wheat, maybe wheat, barley, or oats. One of the three. We're off. Took fucking, I think. Five minutes to build up air, but we're off. We're off, sluggy! Oh, we're sliding. We're right. We've got grip. Off we go. I just need to grab the slug's coat. This is a good angle. There we go. She is now not nude. She is pleased. I saw a comment that said something along the lines of I never know what typo is thinking, so I just have to take, they just have to take my word for it. But, mate, we just go off vibes here. So these ladies and lambs are going back a paddock. They're going into this long paddock behind us here. And then the ones in this paddock on this side are going back a paddock as well. Yes, slug. Do you understand the instructions? Cool. Because I'm not going to say them again. That is a good-looking lamb. It's got very thick shoulders. I'm gonna set the gates up, round them up, push these ones through, then push the others through. Theoretically, the grass should be in a decent enough condition, more so than this that's got nothing. This grass should have grown a little bit and it's a larger paddock, so it should be able to hold these lambs and that next one should be able to hold these ones so we don't have to feed them anymore, which would be ideal. At least feed them hay. The gates are set. Let's get the sheep. I was going to chase them. However, if they're going to follow me, we can use the carrot, not the stick. That works too. But I don't think they're going to follow me that far. No, we're going to have to use the stick. Introducing the stick. Righto, tree branch. Typo. Let me tuck your bum in. Go right! N Typo! You're missing some sheep! Dude! <laughs> Typo! Typo! Selective hearing, I tell ya! Typo, up there! Good girl! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. What the fuck? Alright, we're off again. Dude, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? With the mob is the correct answer here, love. You're going into sweet treats and delicious feats. Good girl. No, typo. Come here. Good girl. Just give her a minute, she'll wake up. Come on, my dudes. Tight boat, don't walk in front of them. Come on. Stop, we're gonna, good, cheers. Good. You're being really silly, woman. Tight boat, stay here. Come on. Typo. Come on. Ah, 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 ah. Typo. 
There we go. The lamb's worked it out. There we go. Beautiful work. Good slug. Okay, get in the car. Like, good, it's cold. Bad news for you, slug. You're moving these two. Oh, good. They're already eating. Here's the paddock they're going to. They've been rubbing on the fence. Plop up. I had her yesterday moving the sheep away from the car again when I was feeding grain. So I wonder if that's what the problem was. I don't know, she kind of just needed to work out what we were doing maybe, I'm not sure. Is she gonna get that lamb at the back? She is. Beautiful work and she's checking behind the dam as well. Good work, slug, you've done well. So basically what she's trained to do is, you know, left or right and then like send it cool story bro looks like they're going up to the gate typers at the back of the mob somewhere i don't know if you can see it through the rain the glorious rain i was almost gonna do a rain dance for rain but thank mother nature that we didn't have you didn't have to be subjected to that but there we go look they're munching having a great time there we go Let's switch to the uterus. You did well, my little slug. Just gotta check the gate in the corner in this paddock. I wanna make sure it's shut. The ewe lambs that were in the paddock behind were preg scanned earlier this week and I just wanna make sure the gate was shut when they came out because I don't want to have to get these sheep back out of more paddocks and they'll get all over the countryside if that gate's open. We're just gonna double check, confirm. I need something happening on the uh, windscreen because it's starting to fog up with all slug steam. Slugs are walking weather pattern. Now the gate's open. Well, that was lucky. Lucky we checked. Bit slippery. Where's the slug? She was ready. She's ready to get in the uterus. Throw back to the womb. I'll never not make that joke. I find it hilarious. <laughs> All right. Oh, do I have grain? That'd be handy to know. There is. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, but I've got probably got two paddocks worth. Maybe three smaller ones. Oh, also, Liam did some renovations on the trailer. If you could get your fat ass off it. Thanks. Good job. We've rewired it so it runs off the cigarette lighter. It works. It closes and opens so much quicker now. It's not like you're sitting there, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. No, no, it's like, it's open. It's closed. Three seconds versus like 20. Let's go, slug. You know, it's going to go really well if you start spinning in the gateway. <laughs> Rain's great, but fuck, it makes everything hard. Soft. Makes everything soft, not hard. Makes everything hard by being soft. Yes. Looks like they're all coming in. They're all coming in. When they're coming in, you kind of just have to wait here and wait for them to come over so they know that there is still food here, even though I'm not here. I've left the food behind. So you kind of just have to wait a little bit for them all to come and join the munchies line. Are you enjoying the crop, ladies? You have delicious snacks, which is basically what's in here, but premature, and they're still hounding me. And you ladies, don't get me started on you ladies. Oh, schlag. Uh, we're just going up feeding the prime lines. Then we have to feed the prime lines. Then we have to feed the prime lines. And we've got crossbreds. How are you all gonna run up now, are we? Ladies, 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 we have this conversation every time. These ladies literally just have hay and grain for food, and these bitches on the crop are trying to take their food. Fucking rude. All right, we're gonna need the slug. I'll try and show you what we're doing. Sometimes you just gotta apply a bit more bit more force to make them fucking move. Just need to get to this hay. Good girl. Typo, come here. Typo, come here. 
Coming in, good girl, stay there. Good girl. Yeah, push him back. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. No, back here. Good girl, good girl. Very good, good girl. Hypo knows not to go in front of the tires. Whereas the sheep fucking don't. It's fucking stressful. Before I get fucking comments, everything's fine. I wanted to show you that because that's the kind of shit that I'm dealing with because we've got no grass is that stress in every paddock. That's what I deal with. So I don't know for those of you interested. Good girl slug you did well. Come on baby. Come on little bug. Come on. It is one of the worst paddocks for it because they just keep going and going and going around. And when, as soon as they start swirling, especially when it's wet, you can have sheep slip and you've got to be watching for the slip. Like, I don't know if that recording was any good because I was trying to, I was watching the sheep, but if it's any good, it ma made the cut. This paddock's not as bad, but we're still going to use slug. Typo, come here. Good girl, very good. Go around the paddock, bring them all over and then move on to the next one. Here's all the ladies munching. Lammy, I don't know where you're going, but it ain't to your mother. I'll show you. The other ones are all happy and healthy, I suppose, before we leave. Here's the line from the first one. I just want to show you. Everyone's fine. Here's the line. As you can see, everybody is fine. Everybody is alive. Where I have fucked myself here. Move, move, move. Hope that was worth it. <laughs> oh, now do I need to show they're all fine again? They're all fine. Cool. I did a sneak attack on these. They thought I was gonna come in the gate up there, but I came in the gate. I can't get through the gate because they want to come in here and these want to go out there. Typo. <laughs> they're on their way, I think. Now these are gonna chase me all the way, all the way down to that gate, as they do every time <sighs> left the lane laneway gate open thinking they wouldn't come out ah, ah. good slug update i got 21 percent battery and we're still feeding and it's only 11 o'clock where well, i've only got a couple paddocks left now so that's good. Are these sheep coming or what? Yeah, they are. They're slowly making their way over. There's our lady from the stuck video. That second one. I'll, I'll put an arrow. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to see her. Okay, crossbreds are fed. They seem a lot less aggressive now. So I don't know, the grass might be starting to actually grow. They seem a bit more, please ma'am, could you, could you give us thy food versus me getting mugged in the back alley for some barley. Just an observation. Feeding the sheep. Are they delightful? I'll just go fuck myself then. They look good. Those two lambs look good. Where the hell have they come from? They must have been on the crop. These little lammies felt the need to go out of the paddock while their mothers were eating. So now they've all got to go back in. You've been laying in dirt, my dude. Very good, go and eat. Why can't you eat like the others? Good girl, slug, get in the car. Good job, my little slug. You pushed those children around, didn't you? Okay. We're doing welfare checks this afternoon, making sure everything's still alive, making sure everything is still all good, and most importantly, checking the vibes. So we start at one end and work our way all the way down. What I'm doing is just going around them, having a look, got to make sure everything's up, nothing's stuck in the fence. Check the fences, check water. I thought I'd show you, see that you? The ewe lamb that with the spot. 
at Lamb there is going to be part of my mob I am getting this year with my prime lines. So I'm going to have prime lines and Aussie whites. Aussie whites don't need to be shorn, prime lines do. But I'm going to create. So this is a dam, basically it's a dugout area with water in it. All our paddocks, I'm pretty sure, well, apart from the small ones, but all the big paddocks all have dams in it. The small ones have water troughs and a lot of the paddocks also, as I just showed you, have a water trough in it. And basically the sheep drink out of the dam unless we have, you know, bad drought and the dam dries up and then they drink out of the water troughs, which we've got plumbed into all the all the farms like from that tank that tank will fill those water troughs but that's how the sheep get water they also get water from grass in a normal winter sheep don't really drink that drink that much they just get their water from the grass my pet sheep you'll see them in the morning they'll all conga line down to the dam drink from the dam and then walk back up and then that's it for the day they might have a drink before bed but that's it i don't you don't see them really you don't see them really go back unless you know you give them grain or something in summer it's a different story we'll just cruise around see if anything's exciting check the vibes they were drenched when we marked them the wormy lambs were drenched you can tell if something's wormy if they got pooey bum are they fucking leaving the paddock they do can we fucking not why do we need to walk out the gate I assure you, you're not going to some foreign land that's going to have more feed. It's the same fucking land. Yeah, back you go. Off you go. Come on. Back you go. Topo, you're up. Sometimes they don't take their lambs and then it's just a huge fucking mess. Taro, there's a simple solution to that. Just shut the gate. You know how many times I stop, open the gate, Go through, get back in the car, shut the gate, get back out of there. I wanted to do the grass test on one of the, some of the grass out here. From the road, it looks like it might be starting to like grow a little bit. So I wanted to have a look. So this is the grass test. Sheep's mouth. Nah. Still quite dead. There is clover there. Which is good. It's coming up. Yeah, a lot of dead shit. Just yeah, just kind of. The dead shit's irrelevant. You're looking at this new grass growth here. This grass. All this grass, clover there, coming up. This grass coming up there. It's starting. Nice clover here. Clover is good for using lambs. It's high protein, grows lambs quickly, grows lambs well. Clover, some grass. It looks, it looks like a lot more than it is. I've just stopped in a few more places to have a look. This grass should be, in a normal year, it should be really thick now. Should be like starting to get pretty, pretty decent. But see how, see how the tips have died or dying that's not what you want to see here oh it's winter here the reason it's cold here is because it's winter uh we're the opposite the southern Hem hemisphere is opposite to the northern hemisphere so we're in winter at the moment and winter where i am is your season where it's wet and you get your cro your crops grow or you know, like they establish and then spring everything starts growing and then summer everything dies off in a normal year um but it looks like this has started to die off but hopefully with this rain 
the ground's wet, so. A bit more rain. We've had 21 mil as of yesterday. So hopefully we get a little bit more. That's a nice patch. Look at that. That's what you want to see two months ago. But, you know, better late than never. All this. Look at this. All that clover coming up. All that grass. Very nice. Very pleasant. You're literally watching the fucking grass grow. This paddock back here had dry ewes in it. They were scanned on Monday along with all the ewe lambs. And whatever was dry has gone to market. And everything in lamb is now up in the other paddocks. So that paddock will now rest and grow. And then this mob here will split in half and half will go into that paddock. Or it'll be used for hay. I don't think it's been decided yet. Next, we've got the beans. Everyone really enjoyed the crop watch last year. You got to see the crop grow and evolve. So we'll do that again this year. This is one of our bean paddocks. We're growing faba beans. Faber beans, depends where you're from. Same bean. Here's what they look like. And there's just lots of them. We did plant, I think, deeper and slower this year. <laughs> so we are expecting them to perform better, hopefully. Last thing we do is check the sheep. That one's taking a piss. You're looking at their tits. See how they're starting to get tits. They're a month off lambing. They're also starting to carry very low. Like that one that's barring yeah a lot of them have milk bags now so these are prime lines you're looking at their weight are they in a good weight range you want them about a score three to birth they look fine but that's what you're doing you're going around and that one that's got a spot on its neck it's just got a bit of black wool there it's not it's not a thing she's just got a spot ah uh, the lambs in here we did some dry ones and we went, I went off bags. I think I did it in a video and I went off the bags. If they didn't have a bag, I put them into, they went into this mob. And these ewes, they didn't have a bag, but they lambed. So they just had really small tits. Just going around these ewes on the crop here, I noticed while I was going around, whoever moved these in here haven't, hasn't done the book work. So I just quickly jumped onto Mobile and did it, which this video is sponsored by. But we've been using Mobile for a year now. It's a fantastic app. It's fantastic for your sheep work. It's fantastic for your book work. It's more balanced towards livestock. However, it does also do cropping. So Liam is also pleased. What I did here was move the crossbreds from the paddock they were in just over to this paddock then move the other crossbreds next to them down to the other crop which they are on. It'll count sheep there are per hectare and how much uh, grazing space they have. It's honestly a solid app. If, if you're interested in having a sticky beak and see what farmers use to manage their sheep, the link's in the description. I encourage even people that, you know, don't have a farm to have a look and see what, you know, what it looks like. And those who do have a farm, even if it's a very small farm, they do have small farm plans. It's good shit. Thanks, Mama, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Yeah, slug, any inputs? If she had any inputs, it could be put on Mom. These lambs here, we've got two ewes here. I don't know if you can see through the slug slime and the mud. But these lambs here were left behind with these ewes when they were moved because the lambs are going to be too small. However, now they are much bigger. They're a week bigger. I will move them at least out into the crop now. It's a very slow process. Got one out, just need to, just need to get a second one. I promise you, you're gonna wanna go through that gate. There you go. Now they can have top tier munchies with their lambs. Yes? What the fuck are you doing? Your cooperation was worth it, wasn't it, ladies? They're a bit preoccupied. Hello. It's Sunday. I don't think the video's long enough, so I thought I'd show you feeding my lambs. They're drinking 
60 litres a day at the moment. This is what they're drinking. It's a 16 kilo bag. They're using about five, just under five kilo a day. What we do is we put the powder into the jug and weigh it out. Those numbers show up on camera way better than in person. <laughs> but yeah, we get the hose, we drag the hose. This is our 20 litre bucket. I like to fill it up a bit first. Okay, pour the milk in. This is just cold water because the heat wave, I'll show you when we get there, that heats the milk up for us. And I'll show you an update on the scabby mouth as well. I'll just get the extra powder out of here. Mix this shit up. Then we'll carry it over here. The baby pen, we've just got this one and the teeny one. That one won't work out the feeder. I don't know why. Um, you've, you've bought yourselves a pot. The bigger pen, scabby mouth, seems to have done its course. Uh, there's not many. They've got dirt on their nose. Most of it's loosened. But the scabby mouth, see how it's starting to scab over like on this one here we pretty much recovered there's a couple that haven't but we're all scabbing over so they those scabs will drop off like any saw and they will be fine these two i've kept separate so you know they don't get it they might get it through the fence but uh, yeah see he's recovered they also have loosen in their feet all over their nose which i'll show you in a minute pour this in And then they aggressively start sucking on the nips. And I'll move that pot. Thanks. I'll have that. Then we aggressively attack the nips with the milkies. Right. As for feed, they are getting loosened beans and some barley as well. That'll grow them nicely. So pretty much to teach them how to use it, you just put them on over and over again until they, it clicks. I've put the cow teat in here because... They don't need two, because there's two of them. I would have preferred if you didn't do that, you asshole. Considering I just got him on there. And considering you weren't even going to drink from it. You are a pest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like or slug. We'll attach you to the milky machine.